Hello. So we are back. Friday. Yeah. And the weekend is coming. So let's do a easy job for a Friday. So check here. Uh, I think this is the one. Yeah. So what do you think about this? Uh, we can fix it. This is a HP. Model. Oh, that's a weird model for a HP. Oh, that's not the model. So where is the model number? 15-BS234WM. Why well, suppose it doesn't matter? Because they all have same problem. This is a customer laptop. And look what's happening there. You can see the hinge. The screen is still working, which is good. You know what I was thinking? I was thinking when we spoke about learning electronics. And uh, for me, it's hard to understand how a beginner is seeing the electronics. But learning electronics is same like learning piano. And I'll explain you why. It's exactly the same. So, uh, to have that feeling, and just explain you. So I start uh, learning piano. But what did I did exactly when after I bought the piano? I start learning the notes and no, no, because I don't want to waste time learning notes. So I go straight to YouTube and you have on YouTube people with, uh, using Syntasia or something like that. You can see the notes and you can learn them and you can. And I did it. So I learned um, the, the, the Moonlight Sonata from YouTube. So without any music knowledge, I learned to play that song. It was like, you know, it was not like played by professional, but I was able to play that song. Then the time come to move to another song, which the story was, was to begin to repeat. Yeah. So now what I like and I would love to learn is Chopin. Yeah. And um, was like starting from zero, and that's that's turned me off. So I took a break, probably like over one weary year break, and uh, I start again from zero, just learning notes and everything. And now I'm I'm on that point, yeah. When actually try to figure it out how the people can uh, can play piano, breathing a shit and uh, music shit, because there are so many notes. There, there, from my point of view, like a beginner, is no way I can play that just reading the notes. It seems impossible, but the people playing piano, they are doing it. But how they are doing it? That's the thing, and I look on. More people there on YouTube listen what they have to say about learning. They are not reading the notes. You understand? So let me explain. Let me get a board. Yeah. Give me one second. Give me one second. No, no, no. Like, what do you see on a motherboard? So a beginner, it will see like components spread everywhere. So they will see like capacitor, resistor. It's a chip there, another capacitor. We have some MOSFET, coil, capacitor, diode. 
capacitor, resistor, coil. That's what a beginner will see. I'll see like 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 nothing is making sense. It's like they will see components. That's what I'm trying to explain. They will see components. Yeah, a piano player, and hopefully, probably here are are, are piano players watching this video. A piano player, they are not seeing notes. They are seeing chords. So they are breaking down the, the, the music sheet and chords. Yeah? So that's how it how that's how they play reading. So I'm reading, they identify straight. Oh, that note is a chord. And they will play the chord without even looking on the on the on the piano sheet. So that's the catch. In the same way, like what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing a power supply here. These components are a power supply. This is another power supply. This is the input circuit. Uh, the, we have the diode here. We have the charging circuit with the current sensor there. So I'm seeing, like, I'm breaking down the board in parts. That's the catch. So you understand? So it's the same way like learning music. That's the catch. Let's fix this one. We have this hinge. Look at this hinge. Look at this hinge. So now I understand what they are seeing because I want to learn, but I'm on that point, like a beginner on electronics. I'm seeing only knots. And you can't really play. You can play, but very slowly reading the notes but to play like normal you have to break down uh in chords yeah so on parts on chords they are breaking down the the sheet just watching so same with the electronics when i see a board i can identify like power supplies like you know the digital part the things the same thing the same thing it's, it's a nice comparison i think i think it's it's exactly how you can explain being a beginner, like into electronics and playing piano. It's absolutely the same. Okay, let's see what we are doing with this. This hinge is bent here. I'll check here. You can see, that's the hinge. It's a pretty straightforward job. But I have also the cables there, so it's a little bit tricky, but we can do it, yeah? We can do it. Let's use hot glue like usual. That's in or we can compare like with the photography or cinematography. It's the same like a, like a, a photograph. Uh, he has his eye to match the frame exactly when the picture has, has a balance. Yeah, when it's looking good because the picture has a balance. Like someone it's a semi cinematography when everything is matter. So you have the you have the position of the camera, you know, from the front, up, down, which every 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 position matter and describe another uh, another thing, yeah. And then you have the the light. You have the three point lighting, which is a basic lighting on uh, cinema cinematography. You have the Rembrandt lighting. Then you have the colors, and, and the colors matter because you have to do it uh, with complementary colors. So one color is complement uh, has a different color to complement this. Yeah, it's hopefully you understand what I mean. That's why you see that uh, cinematic. Um, a color. It's 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 it's. You see, it has has it has his base in two colors. Like you see, in Joker. Joker. It's orange, 
and that uh, bluish green. That was great. That that color on that movie was fantastic. And there are people just maybe you'll not believe just doing this, just coloring uh, content, video content. And that's what that's that, that that's what is their job. So behind telling just a story, it's a lot more what is going. Uh, in a, in a frame. So same with electronics. Same with electronics in the same way. I really like the photography, cinematography, electronics, piano, anything. Like You know, that's my issue. I have too many hobbies. Too many. Okay, so now the hinge is kind of on uh, where, where, where it has to be. So we have hot glue behind. Now let's get a small nozzle and heat up the hinge because otherwise it will not bond with the hot glue. Okay, that's very important. Otherwise it will come back, you know, like. Okay. I do have like 500 degrees here. Just pay attention to don't melt plastic. Good. Now is the sandwich time. Sandwich time. We're making a sandwich between the bottom plastic and the top uh, and the top frame. Okay. It's easy, I told you it's easy. Now the clamp, that's very important. Good. Put the clamp in some place. Let's wait a little bit. Yeah? Yeah? No? No? So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the catch. And this fix will be better compared with the original. I'm sure.
Now you know I'm using a lot of hot glue along with the repairs. Just because I'm happy. I'm using it from years. You know what I want to buy? I want to buy the black uh, hot glue. Which is same good as the white one, but you know, it's more... Uh, yeah, it's black, it's easy to... Uh, you understand, to match with the color of the whatever you repair. is cooling down Perfect. Huh? You know the hinges are movement, but the movement is from here. Yeah, you see these screws, this screw is loose. And this one is loose. Perfect. Okay. Still working. Still working. Okay. So I just Wish you to have a nice weekend and uh, see you probably next week. Yeah? Goodbye.